In this video, we're going to put the concept of a Santa Claus rally to test. We'll build a simple back tester to help us first understand how often does the Santa Claus rally happen, is that consistent enough, and then we'll apply a bear market lens to specifically study the 2000 bear market along with the 08 bear market, the Decembers within these two bear markets, and understand what the Santa Claus rally's performance has been with that perspective. Now before we dive deeper into the coding part, we need to first understand what the Santa Claus rally even is. Here's a little snippet from Investopedia. You can Google it as well, but let me share some quick takeaways. The first is when this Santa Claus rally really takes place, and that's the week prior to Christmas, December 25th. So if we had to put a date on this, a week prior to December 25th would be December 18th. So that can be something like our start date when we build our back tester. Now, another thing that stands out is this idea that the strategy has had a small positive average return. The fact that it's been positive implies that the trade expectancy, according to at least this particular snippet from Investopedia, suggests that it should be positive. We'd like to test, is there any truth to that actual idea of this tendency? Does the Santa Claus rally happen more often than not? And what has the PNL of this strategy if you had followed it day in, day out, year in, year out, I should say rather, where you buy a week before Christmas and you sell right before Christmas? Uh, what has that strategy's PNL been? And that's what we're looking to answer with this back tester. Then with the reporting functionality, we can also focus in on the bear markets with the two different bear markets we have access to. So to build this back tester, uh, the logic we need is very similar to the logic we used for the Starbucks holiday drinks back tester. There was a start date, there was an end date, and that was pretty much it in terms of our two different conditions. The pricing is where we needed to make sure we chose the correct price. So I found that interesting. We're looking for something similar here with the Santa Claus rally back tester and see if it's something we can take advantage of this particular holiday season. Now, for our entry for the Santa Claus Rally, we're looking for the entry uh, to be the bar December 18th or the first bar after it, and we'll use the opening price of that bar as our actual entry price. For our exit, we'll use December 24th since the market's closed on the 25th, or the first bar after uh, December 24th. So both of these fairly similar in their structure, just different dates, and I've tried to do that on purpose so we have a framework that we can follow. Now let's jump into Thinkorswim, let's translate this entry and exit condition into ThinkScript, and then we can build our add order functions to bring this all together. Now to start building our back tester, let's click the studies icon, and then click the strategies tab, and there click create. Start by giving this strategy a name, I'll call mine TI underscore Santa Claus Rally Back Tester and I'll delete all of the code that we have inside of this. Now we need to start by first defining our entry condition. So let's say def entry. And we said for our entry condition, we wanted the bar uh, December 18th or the first bar after that. So to get this, we need to use two different functions, the get day of month function, and that will return a specific day of month so say the 17th of December, the 18th of December, that is the function that would return us that integer value. And this function takes an input to be able to do that. And that input needs to be a date. And since we don't want to manually feed in dates for every single December for the past 20 years, we can instead use the get YYY MMDD function, which gets the date of the current bar, feed that into the get day of month function, and make sure that this is greater than 17 so that we know this is at least the 18th of whichever month we're looking at. Part two of this is making sure that month is December. So for that, we can use the get month function. Now, like this, we need to also create an exit condition. So we'll say def exit this time. And instead of 17 here, we're looking for December 24th. So we'll change this to December 23rd. So one bar greater than that would be the 24th or the first bar after that. And this is now our exit criteria. Using both of these variables, we can create our add order function and say add order, order type, buy to open. And we only care about the buy to open since this is a bullish overall idea. 
And here we can say, is the entry condition true on the current bar? And was it not true on the previous bar? If this is the case, use the opening price and we can set that to a default quantity of one. Now let's create our closing order here. So I'll say add order type cell to close. And here we can say exit. So same idea, is our exit condition true on the current bar? And was it not true on the previous bar? So we know the exit conditions have now been met. And if that's the case, use the closing price of that bar in which the conditions are true. So now if I click OK, let's take a look at what all is happening on our charts. If we use this as an example, so our entry is taking place with the opening price of this bar. Even though the actual pink strategy plots on the next bar, the triangle is where the actual entry price is. And if I prove that to you, right click show report. This is December 21st of the 2021 year. There we have an opening price that the back tester uses of 454.48. And if we take a look at this bar, 1220, the opening price is 454.48. So this bar right here, this is the entry price that the strategy is using for entry. And the reason it's using this bar is this bar right here is December 17th. One bar greater than that is this bar right here. So we're using the correct opening price. Our exit price needs to be one bar greater than December 23rd. Looks like we're using this bar's closing price, which on our chart we see is 477.26 and on the back tester 477.26 as well. So we know that our closing price is working or at least matching uh, and this is December 27th. The bar before that was the 23rd so one bar greater than that would be this bar right here the 27th. So this is the overall strategy that we've built inside of Thinkorswim. Now if we take a look at this on SPY over the past five years the strategy, the PL down here is negative. So that tells you the expectancy of this should not necessarily be positive headed into this particular December. You're not looking for that same Santa Claus rally to take place based off of the past five years or five data points. So let's expand this. Let's go to 10 years now. So for 10 years, we can see our PL has fluctuated. Let's continue expanding this. Let's give this, say, the same two decades that I think Investopedia was referring to. And if we give this two decades, the strategy's PL is positive, in fact, and it is just small positive, so we can see how that lines up. And if we expand this to max available data, which goes, I believe, even into the 90s, here our PL continues to remain positive. If we scroll back, we can see that the strategy for the most part was true until it stopped becoming true. That's what's factoring a lot of this PL, and then we're recently climbing back up. So this gives you a few different ways to analyze this data on SPY. And if you come in to say the queues, it becomes a lot easier to test each individual market. Now let's dive specifically into SPY and use the max available data. We'll right click, show report, and let's focus in on the uh, two different bear markets that we do have data available for. So our first one is the 2000 to 2002 bear market. So we have three December, uh, Decembers there as our data points. The first one is this right here, December 2000. There we can see our PL was positive. That's all I'm looking for, positive or negative. The next December, positive as well. So December uh, 2001. And then December 2002 was negative. So one out of three Decembers here were negative. And then two out of three Decembers here, that Santa Claus rally idea did hold true. If we take a look at 2008 next, that's this data point right here. We can see 2008 was a much deeper negative. So at this point, we're essentially at something like a two for two within the context of bear markets. That doesn't necessarily make me optimistic for the Santa Claus rally being present this year around. Another thing that also factors into my decision making is the fact that we're towards the top end of this overall longer term downtrending channel that we've been looking at for some time. Most definitely a recent uptrend, so no reason to expect this to pause anytime soon. But for the most part, our trend is still down, so somewhere around here, leading really all the way up to this previous high, we're expecting sellers to come in and try and bring price action down. So we do have a little bit more of a bearish goggles, or I do rather, which affects my bias. 
Regardless of whichever way you swing, hopefully through this video, you learned how to, using four simple lines of code, build a very simple Santa Claus Rally back tester. In case you'd like to change these dates for something else you might like for your own custom training style, you can also adjust those, and these conditions down here will plug based off of the dates inputted. I hope you found this short tutorial useful. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.